So I actually found out that you do indeed need to come through this twice. You have to come through this with Zero and Mega Man X so that X can activate the capsule. But not only that, but you need to come back through with Zero and Axel so that you can jump to the left and get on top of the gate for the rare metal. So the game actually forces you to come through this twice all the way through the stage. Not only that, but you need to be able to get past this. Well, now I don't even know how to get past this thing. Um, hmm. X is shining ray or using the Tin Shaoha. Shining ray, not only just, not, not only not fire, but like this shining ray thing. That is strange. Huh. X, I thought something like this might happen someday, so I've prepared parts for you. This time, I want you to try Head Parts H. This part will increase your weapon's charge speed when equipped. Equip this new ability and board the capsule, X. Yeah, I like that. I got a knife. I like that. Man, too bad I can't reach the rear metal. I gotta go out of this level, go back in, go all the way through this stage all over again. Believe it or not, when you go through the cavern, the cavern is actually much easier. You know when you do that jump into the cavern? It's much easier than the actual path. Uh, that if you don't jump into the cavern is. No, actually I need to do Axel and Zero. Let's do it! Yeah, I got kind of tired of the stage, so I, you know, I have a cheat in there. I'm not really into the whole racing sections. Because it's certainly not Diddy Kong Racing, it's kind of weirder. That one's tricky, you have to jump and then go to the left. Otherwise you won't make it.
I do have mad from them. <laughs> he still drops his robots after he's dying. That's the funny part. Wait for the camera angle to change, and then it'll load in a new section, and now it's keep boosting. Try to get past this really long stretch of this infinite enemies. Now I'm gonna show you the normal path that's outside of the cavern. You let me know what you think. Well, other than that, other than the trick, and a lot of those jumps are like that. Like, if you don't take the ramp, you're automatically going to die. But you saw how I didn't see that chasm? I only saw the, uh, the ramp. And that would have wasted one of my retry ships right then and there. But I still got to redo this long section. And that's what I mean. Sometimes these X Mega Man X games, like, they torture you with this stuff. Like, it just goes on and on. Yeah, you gotta hit that ramp or you'll be dead. Yeah, this right here where I would jump right and go into the caverns. So you don't take any of these ramps, you will die. Did you see those two ramps that I could have taken? They were actually fake. Unless you're boosting, or unless you change your uh, destination, like swivel to the left or right. No, you'd be dead after you use those two ramps on a normal path. That's a normal path. The cavern actually doesn't have that. So you let me know what you think of that. Two ramps that would kill you unless you diverted your path. And I'm pretty sure you would be feel inclined to go on those ramps, wouldn't you? But they lead to your death. They really do. And guess what? It wastes a retry chip, and it makes you redo the level. Just like right now, I have to keep redoing the level just because of one stupid thing. All that to Go do. All that to do this. No. 
problem. So my question that stage as if it were your own backyard. Nice work. So my question is, what was so worth it for that? Shock Absorber, you will no longer be knocked backwards when hit. Nah, that's not too bad. Oh my gosh, look at that. 15,000 metal that would have cost me. 15,000. Holy crap. You know, I can actually tell how many I got on certain ones of these. The funny part is, the one that you chase the guy through the city, um, you don't have to get any items from that one. Which is good, but also kind of strange. Alright, well, I just wanted to show the Yeti thing, but I'm going to take another break. Um, I just wanted to show the Yeti let's stage how you have to do that multiple times just for two items. Which is kind of ridiculous in my opinion. I'm getting there though. I have two armor pieces. I have to go for two more to complete the Hermes one. Then I got to do the other armor. Get some more rare metals. Um, so it's getting there. It's getting there. I figure collect all the items and then I'll go for finishing up the game. Yeah, the more I dive into these X games, the more I get aggravated. Like, I find the hidden aggravation parts of it. And I'm definitely seeing the pieces of it that aggravate me. Not enough to say that it's a bad game, because it's actually really good. If you're good at Mega Man X or something, you should play this game. This is nice. It's not bad in certain regards. Alright, I'll see you next one. Bye-bye.